I do, I do. How could I not? Uh, why are we on Akalon Waste 207 balance fee 101? what? <laughs> I expect to see drops everywhere. Coming from either, you know, Bio, Hellbats, whatever it is, it's going to get dropped. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I, I, I realized something. Um, this is actually that balance map for that warp prism buff that David Kim came up out of nowhere. <laughs> exactly. This and is like, the reason. The spawns are so far apart. Yes, that's exactly why. And, you know, I wonder if either player will be able to benefit from that this game. You know, I don't know. Um, in Terran v Terran, you, you know, you might find a little bit more security from uh, not getting dropped so often, you know, starting off so far apart. A little bit more of a macro game, maybe. Yeah. But we'll see what happens here. All right. Well, on that note, let's kick it off here. In the bottom right, the green Terran. Butting his cushes, it is Cushbud. I'm sorry, that's the best I could do on short notice, man. Fair enough. And, up and in the top left-hand corner, we have Infinity North America's Atlas as the blue Terran. I cannot do that like Legend does it in the GSL. It is just so hard. <laughs> Can never do it. No, I, I, I need to practice that just a little bit more. Because have you you've seen the GSL, man? I mean, just the of way. Of course, he does. who hasn't seen GSL? Uh, geeks. <laughs> Let the geek really? Because I thought that was the only people that were like watching it. No, that's nerds. <laughs> oh, no. okay. There's let, a difference. Let the great nerd geek war begin. <laughs> let oh, it commence. Fan the flames. Dance, puppets, dance. All right, but anyway. So far. No cheese whatsoever, just some standard openings from both players with a Rax and the Supply Depot. No proxy Rax or anything like that to expect so far, so I don't know, pretty man. standard play. Kushbud skipping his gas, he could go for a uh, six Rax Reaper. He could. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a six Rax so. Reaper with no gas. Exactly, that's it, right there. It would be no completely gas. unexpected. It would be. Nobody would, no, I bet you Atlas would be completely taken by surprise. Even I would be taken by surprise. And yeah, I mean, I think we—I think that would be StarCraft history for like the twenty-fifth time. <laughs> Indeed. Did you see that on Reddit the other day, man? That was—it's like. I did. I did uh, see okay. that. Uh, anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about, there was a post on Reddit um, that had artosis and tasteless, and it was a meme. It was one of photos, and they're saying, "Let's get ready to make StarCraft two history." Dot 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 for the nineteenth time. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and here from Atlas, we do see a Reaper. So it looks like he is going to be going into a possible Reaper expand here. I gotta tell you, I am not a fan of the Reaper expand. I I like it in TVP, but in TVT, I, I'm just not crazy about it. That's because I don't I don't think that Reapers have the same advantage that they have in other matchups. In Protoss, you don't have as many early units, and in and in Zerg, you know. You can't. They can't. They don't have any units that can really catch it. You know, even the queen can't really catch it. It can just kind of hold it off. Not but yet. here you've got a few marines, and that's the end of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it can be irritating, but it's a lot of gas, and well, I, I guess if you get enough of them, I mean, if you if you get like two, three, four reapers, but that's not even that's not really a reaper expand. That's just reapers. <laughs> yeah. It looks like he just went for one here, and he's probably just going for scouting information on his opponent mm. to see what he was going to do. Now, uh, Kushbud actually going to have the faster expand here, but still no. Oh, no, now he's getting a double gas. Hmm. I gotta say, I'm not. I'm not familiar with this build from Kushbud. Um. Oh wait, I'm not no. Either. It's kind of a late double gas. Actually, I used to do a build like this in Wings of Liberty, but it's not really any good anymore, and. Yeah, I don't think he's actually doing this. Uh, up until the gas there, that was the uh, the marine build by Thorzane. You remember that one? Oh, I do. Yeah. That one was one of my favorites. I used to have like an eighty percent win rate in TVT because of that. And then you know, reapers but not anymore. <laughs> reapers and widow mines and you know fast tanks, etc., etc. Uh, Atlas gonna go What's for happened? the gonna go for the, the uh, one 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 play here. Um, I think he's going to go for a Viking or a Banshee out of that. Hmm. Well, 
I'm gonna guess Banshee, but I but I'm probably wrong. I don't he's know. getting the tank actually, so he's getting the tank. So I see the Wings of Liberty play coming here. Yeah, you yeah. know. Well, tank push is still very actually it's even more effective thanks to uh. Thanks. But it's to... definitely being delayed here because he's not doing anything with that starport right now. And Kushput being very bold here, he's gonna go uh go into three command centers, uh, before his first factory is even done. Yeah, that's true. He's either going to be punished, you know, dr dramatically, or, you know, he's going to get away with it and he's going to be way ahead. So, uh, see what happens. I think he's about to get bit in the ass because Atlas just scanned that third command center and he scanned the second one earlier. I don't know. He's going, for the, he's going for the reactor, so... Looks like we have a reactor, yeah, on the starport there, hmm. so I guess... Drops? I may have been wrong. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe drops. Maybe even, you know... Got him. Some, who knows? Who yeah, knows I, gonna happen? This is I a don't think of a weird build. Double Viking production at this stage. <laughs> uh, he's gonna no, get I a don't Viking. think so. But here, here is a Viking. So maybe he just wants more scouting info. I don't know. What if the Reaper's not telling him? <laughs> uh, I don't know what the Reaper hasn't told him. Uh, yeah, I don't either. Yeah, uh, Kushput obviously going for the mech play. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Hmm. It kind of looks like some of 4GG's play, actually, from Kushput. Yeah. Yeah, I do see that. A lot of, uh, a lot of factories. You know, we got three factories down, going for an armory here. Getting that third command center. Yeah, and so, actually he's going to throw the reactor. He's going to switch that onto a reactor, so some Hellions, one of 4GG's favorite. Um, hmm. I don't know really who to put ahead here. I would have to say... I'd have to say Kushbud because of that quick third CC, but I mean yeah, I think so. Even if even if he doesn't expand right now, he's got he's got the production of SCVs and he's got he's already turned it into an orbital, so he's got the extra mule income and everything else. So yeah, I mean I'm surprised. I definitely have to say he's a little ahead. I'm surprised Atlas didn't punish him for that because he had the perfect scout and he was going for what looked to be an ab aggressive opening. Uh, I think Atlas might have just let a, a Kushbud get away with the uh, highway robbery there. Yeah, I think so. I think he's been robbed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of looking like a little bit of a similar bill here, though. Um, a little bit later for Kush on the starport, and um, but you got the three factories, the starport, you know. <laughs> Those three it's looking fairly similar. Those three supply depots for Kushbud uh, down there almost looked like a. Uh, a dark shrine getting ready to go down for a second. I was like, wait, dark <laughs> shrine in TVT, what? <laughs> that's, Wind that, behind dark shrine. That's where I draw the line. If we if we start seeing dark shrines in TVT, I am done. I am done. Yeah, that would be a good time to uh, retire. Share whatever it is that you're, you're smoking with the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Atlas Atlas gonna probably expand to his third location here. Um, it doesn't it didn't actually start at third command center. I mean, hmm. It seems like well, both here comes his expand. Yeah, it seems like both of these players want to like are posturing for an attack, but neither player is actually pushing for an attack here. Atlas getting yeah, it does look that way. Bit supply block there. Hmm. Yeah, those supply blocks always hurt. But uh, I did notice that Atlas had his Reaper sitting there waiting for that third to go down, so he does know that third is down now. Yep, so... I mean... Hmm. Yeah, as far as far as, as far as economically, Kushbud is way ahead. Let me take a look at the units tab here. Uh, four Vikings against two... Kushbud has a lot of Hellbats, my god. And hellbats. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of hellbats. That is a lot of hellbats. But then again, that's kind of a kind of a usual thing for for mech play, is it not? Uh, personally, I like blue flame hellions. I don't use too much hellbat. Um, then again, I play a lot of uh, a lot of these a lot of TVTs these days is against mech and uh, hellbats. Ironically, lose to hellions. Fun fact. That is a fun fact. Yeah, it's actually... It's Since a, I don't play TVT, I was unaware of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Hellions outrange the Hellbats by a wide mile. And technically, Hellbats are light units, so Blue Flame... Very useful against them. Wow. Yeah. 
Learning something every day. Oh yeah, man. Blue Flame Hellions go to unit, man. Uh, and it looks like Atlas. But Atlas. Oh, a little bit of Hellion drops here, maybe. But a Viking. Two Vikings ready to intercept that little thing. Yeah, that uh, I think is definitely going to get taken out. Although I do like the fact that he's going for Somebody some aggression here. Then he's going to throw an expand down on the back of that. Yep. And but I, he... I have a feeling that he's not even. Oh, it looks like he oh, might actually drop it. Get... Oh, oh, there the... it goes. He got it off. The boost. Nice. Oh, nice but boost. He's... Is he going to get them all? Yes, but those Hellions are trapped. Terrible, terrible damage being done here. Blue Flame. Hellions, so good. How much damage did they do? Nine workers wow. killed. Okay. Okay. Nine Cons workers. Considering what that could have been, that was pretty good. That 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 was just enough, maybe, to catch him up in this game. With uh, his late expand. Sixty seven to sixty. Uh Atlas with two Thors and six Vikings against nine Vikings. Uh and twenty six Hellbats, my 26 god. Twenty six Hellbats though, my goodness. It's a shame he doesn't that have any medevacs. A shame he doesn't have any medevacs. Yeah. Um, I feel like that could do him. Uh, that could do <laughs> quite a bit of you know help for him because medevacs heal those hellbats, and that with the rest of that mech army would be pretty devastating. I feel. Well, here's here's the kicker. Kushbud has two two on the way. Atlas just has one zero. <laughs> I mean, oh ouch. Yeah. This this is a. He's just starting 2-1, but there's going to be a wide amount of time where Kushput's A, going to be maxed out and building that bank, uh, and B, going to have a 2-2 against 1-0 upgrade advantage. And he sees a lot of Hellbats. <laughs> My god. I wish I, Hellbats... I feel, like, I feel like Kush is going to be out here pretty soon, because he's maxed 200-200. I feel like he should probably be pushing out right about now. Yeah. Now the kicker and, uh, is he doesn't have like transformation servos or infernal pre-igniter or anything like that. So Hellbats, Hellbats against tanks spread out this well might might not be so good. Yeah, the one thing that I know about Mech is that it definitely favors the defender who's got the tanks spread out and ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> Kushput, uh, Kushput going for three three right now. Two one still about a hundred seconds out for Atlas and he really needed to turn some, here coming down. he really needed to turn some some of those doors into the uh, the fancy air upgrade thing of a bobber a beautiful tank spread here is crushing a lot of the hellbats the Thor is doing work on the Vikings the Vikings are pretty much dead there's still so many tanks in the back the tanks from Kushput the upgrades being the difference maker here Kushput pushing through tank after tank after tank 30 supply up. Oh, wow. Atlas. Wow, what a... What a win. Yeah, that was... It's definitely going to take out the... Uh, definitely going to take out his fourth here. Stop him from putting that down. I'd love to see him expand on the back of this. And uh, just keep up that production. You know, because he's... He's definitely got an edge here right now. Yeah, a double expand coming off the back of this for Kush, but he's got 40 supply. What I really like is to see him siege up these tanks right on this ridge here with that Viking and just wail away at the SCVs. Uh, Atlas going to maintain three bases for now and he's actually got a fifth going on the far right these fifth are actually going to be so close together it's not even funny wow double expanding on the back of that aggression that's always nice and then you've also got i think what it came down to in that last battle was that kush has has those two two upgrades and his opponent was only on one one at the time now he's up to one two but he definitely he was definitely down on upgrades he was actually at one zero which uh, really? yeah it was even worse um but now he's got 2-1. Kush going to finish 3-3 three, three in about a minute. Uh, plus 2 armor. And still a ways out for Atlas. I mean, Atlas is really going to have to turtle hard on this. Uh, if Kush doesn't see that 5th, that could be a big thing. But Kush has a 4th and a 5th behind this. And fun fact, Planetary Fortress, not great in TVT. User joined your channel. No, but he did... He did complete that planetary fortress, and but I, I don't think he's going to be able to repair it fast enough. No. Here comes in all of Kush's forces, just going to take that out right now. Use Absolutely devastating. That entire base is gone right now. Oh man, I feel like Kush is definitely in the lead here. Now the upgrades only two two against two one for another 
five, six seconds here. So Atlas gonna be able to hold his his bases. Nothing really up at that fifth. It's five base against three, and Atlas almost maxed out. Kushbud is maxed out, and he has the Viking lead. That's always a big, big thing in TVT. These Vikings, I think, are gonna land right on top of the siege tanks. The Hellbats trying to do work. Kushput's tanks aren't even sieged up. The Hellbats trying to close the gap. They will close the gap. Get out a lot of tanks. Thor's actually oh, getting wow. roasted here. I think Kushput might have uh, botched that engagement right there, trying to push up yeah, that ramp. Yeah, like, I feel like on the high ground, he definitely messed up. That tank spread for Atlas is just its just excellent. And um, he just couldn't push up that ramp. I feel like he would have had a lot more success if he went over to Atlas's fourth. I, I don't even know if he knows that's there. I... I can't imagine that he does. I'll take Mineral a quick look field. here. Kushbud does know that it's up there, actually. Huh. Okay, he scouted yeah, that somehow. I feel like if he, I feel like if he just would have denied, denied those expansions and kept, I, I feel like he just would have won by default, because eventually Atlas would have had to push out of there. Well, let's take a mineral check. His third, his third's in pretty good shape. His main is gone. His natural is on fumes. Um, but the same could be said for Kushbud, uh, except for this fourth and fifth base here. Now, if Atlas can, yeah, which, if Atlas can maintain here, he'll be in pretty good shape. Five. Yeah, but he's just starting to mine. Just starting to mine on that fourth now. Just starting to put down his his refineries and stuff. I don't, I don't know. And it looks like he might even. Well, he's definitely getting delayed on that fifth again by a stray Viking. Yeah, very <laughs> aggravating. I'm surprised Terrans don't use, uh, like, Vikings for harass more like that. I mean, they're not good in a straight-up engagement like their ground stuff. But, like, three Vikings in the back of a mineral line is actually pretty aggravating. <laughs> I mean, oh, it looks like we might have an engagement here coming. Yeah, he's going to because... have to evacuate this this fifth, and actually it's going to go down because that is too much I feel like yet. Alice feels he has to defend here because well, he's... It's not so much he has to defend, but if Kushbud actually tries to push in and take this engagement, I feel like he might be on the back end. 3-3 three, three, still 40 seconds away for Atlas. But those tanks doing terrible, terrible damage! Such a oh, tank wow. line. That is a lot of tanks. He really needs a scan up there to take out those Thors. Thors do not outrange tanks. I do know that much. Um... These Thors actually there might be there's too many Thors. There's too many Thors oh, on 3-3. Like Kush. Kush got it. GG from and Atlas. <laughs>